Normally, I would lead a topic like this with the emphatic, they don't get it. They just don't get it. Unfortunately, though, I don't think that applies here because I think they do get it. The Olympics knew exactly what they were doing last night. They knew it would cause outrage. They knew it would potentially offend Christians. But if there is one thing that has been made abundantly clear at the 2024 Paris Olympics, they are not worried about offending you. They don't care what you think. Have you guys noticed? Over the past couple of weeks, there's not been a single instance of fake outrage coming from deacons and parishioners at Woke United Methodist. Did you guys notice that? Just think about how rare that actually is. We're talking about a group of people who make their living by being offended. These are professional victims. Even colorblind deacons, they have the ability to be sitting in New Woke City and they can spot mythical racism 10,000 miles away in Siberia. But throughout the two weeks at the Olympics, I cannot think of a single example where the deacons were filled with fake outrage. Hmm. I wonder why. From the opening ceremony to the closing ceremony last night, a lot of people felt that the Olympics were a display of debauchery. Since they opened the Olympics with a complete mockery of the Last Supper, I guess it's only fitting that they close the Olympics with a... Well, I don't know what the hell that was last night. It's like they stole the dreams of the Star Trek virgin Mike Freeman at USA Today. Something resembling C-3PO appeared to be wearing a thong. Satanic stormtroopers, they were behind him wearing what appeared to be see-through tights, I guess. Now, if this was the performance at men pretending to be ladies night at Club Shay Shay, maybe I could understand it, but the Olympics? The Olympics? If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at KC underscore BTL84. Headline at Sports Media Watch. Are the Olympics so back? Um, If what we saw the last two weeks was the new and improved Olympics... I hope we never see it again. Now, this article from Sports Media Watch, they focus specifically on the ratings for the Olympics, which were absolutely phenomenal. But there was so much wrong with the Paris Olympics, and I think we're going to see it continue and perhaps increase because the Olympics, they didn't face any consequences. If these displays of debauchery happened 20 years ago, advertisers, they would have pulled their money. They wouldn't want to be associated with it because they didn't want consumers boycotting their brands and products because they financially supported what could be perceived as evil. After the mockery of the Last Supper, only one American advertiser pulled out of the Olympics, C Spire. The 2024 Olympics, it accomplished back-to-back first. And you guys know how much the shit fucks love a first. For the first time ever, Two boxers possessing XY chromosomes, they were allowed to compete against women. KC, what does that mean? What's an XY chromosome? It means it's entirely possible at one point in their lives, these boxers were wearing boxers instead of thongs. Instead of putting the controversy to rest by testing gender, the Olympics, they allowed them to compete. As a result, they both won a gold medal. What a shocker. I guess it wasn't enough to have the cousin of Lizzo pretending to be Jesus at the Last Supper. That was not enough controversy for the Olympics. So, they decided to double down and they guaranteed that females wouldn't have the chance to win gold medals in boxing. I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't sound like equity to me. Last night, as American athletes patiently waited for their flights out of Paris back to a first world country, the Olympics, they presented the closing ceremony. Now you would think, you would think, with all the backlash they received from the opening ceremony, the Olympics would present something presentable. You would think the Olympics would present something family friendly. You would think they would present something where there was absolutely no way Anyone could find it offensive. 
<laughs> if you thought that, you clearly thought wrong. Seconds into the closing ceremony, the Olympics, they were already being accused of presenting a satanic ritual. According to the BBC, the closing ceremony, it was a presentation of the golden voyager scouring a lifeless, desolate earth. Um, that sounds kind of dark. With the rating success of the Olympics this year, you would assume that the closing ceremony would be a celebration. According to some on social media, it was a celebration. It was a celebration of evil. Now, I don't know anything about satanic ritual, so I can't tell you if this was a golden voyager wandering a desolate earth or Joy Reid flying around the stage on her broom. I'll let you decide. Sound has been muted for copyright reasons, but watch it for yourself. What do you guys think? Innocent Golden Voyager or Celebration of Evil? Let me know in the comments below. Here's the thing, though, and this is why I don't understand what the hell the Olympics are doing. Four years ago, the Tokyo Olympics, they were destroyed by political protest. Meg Rapino kneeling for the national anthem, Gwen Berry celebrating her last place finish by combating mythical racism. This year, the Olympics, they were mostly apolitical. I thought the athletes from America represented the country well. Even someone like Bob Greiner who became famous for shitting all over America. The same Bob Griner who demanded that the national anthem be eliminated from being played before games in the WNBA dump. After winning the gold medal this weekend, Bob Griner, she was seen crying as the national anthem was being played. And it wasn't tears of sadness. Bob wasn't emotionally triggered by the playing of the national anthem. After spending 10 months on a Russian vacation with Vlad Puder, seems that Brittany Griner has a new appreciation for America. Like I said, I thought America was represented well. They moved past the politics and they made the Olympics what the Olympics are supposed to be. Representing your country. The point is though, the Olympics, they were able to move past all that. Problem is... I think what we saw this year was worse than 2020. Going into the closing ceremonies last night, you knew, you knew people were already on edge. You knew religious people were already offended. With that being the case, why would you present something that you knew could be interpreted as evil? Let's assume for a second that this really was a presentation of some doofus voyager wandering a lifeless, desolate earth. Why in the hell would you present it knowing it could be misinterpreted as being satanic? Doesn't make sense to me, but what the hell do I know? I'm the dumbass who still thinks people with XY chromosomes are dudes. There's one other thing that we learned at the Olympics besides the fact that they seem to be dedicated to debauchery. Americans. Americans have not turned their back on basketball. And outside of LeBron James, who half the country can't seem to stand, it seems like most Americans haven't turned their back on stars in the NBA. But one thing that is abundantly clear after seeing these television ratings at the Olympics Americans have damn sure turned their back on the NBA. And this time, I don't think it has anything to do with mythical racism. I don't think it has anything to do with the summer of woke love that the NBA presented in 2020. I think it has everything to do with the fact that a lot of people think the current NBA product sucks. If you watched basketball at the Olympics, the game was completely different than what we see in the NBA. It was more physical. It wasn't a free throw shooting competition. Fouls weren't being called every time an opposing player farted in the vicinity of LeBron James. The gold medal game Saturday, 19 and a half million viewers. You would have to go all the way back to 2017 for an NBA game to eclipse that number. Throughout the Olympics, 
Team USA was drawing five, six, seven, eight million viewers a game. You put these same players in the first round of the NBA playoffs, they're drawing two to three million. But here's the stat that is particularly damning for the NBA. And credit to Sports Media Watch for putting this together. They compiled a list of the 10 most watched basketball games since 2019. Guess how many NBA games are on the list? Just take a wild guess. <laughs> None. You go back five years, and you mean to tell me not one game in the NBA Finals made the list? Just think about that. Think about how far the NBA has fallen. Duke NC State, a game in the Elite Eight, managed to make the list. Caitlin Clark, she made the list twice. Every other slot, it was men's college basketball and the gold medal game at the Olympics. The least watched game on the list, 14 million viewers. Meaning, there has not been an NBA game in the last five years to eclipse 14 million viewers. That number used to be considered disastrous for the NBA Finals. Now, it would be double-digit growth. Well, KC, what about the WNBA? Did the WNBA make the list? Um, sure, yeah. I compiled a list of the least watched basketball games in the last five years. The WNBA, they took up all 10 slots. <laughs> now, will the NBA look at this and change anything about their on-court product? No. A couple of days ago, Dennis Schroeder, he was asked to compare the NBA to the Olympics. Listen to what he said. I gotta be careful here. I think it's... European basketball is, is um, no entertainment. It's straight IQ basketball, straight coaching, um, and really, really high IQ guys who know how to play the game. Basically, what he is saying is the NBA, it's soft. The NBA is about entertainment. It's about running up the score and zero defense. While the style of play in Europe and at the Olympics, it's real basketball. Like I said, Nothing will change about the NBA because Adam Silver, he's got no reason to change it. The NBA was just given $76 billion by the networks. They paid $76 billion for access to one or two million viewers. Anyway, give me your thoughts on this. Was the closing ceremony at the Olympics satanic? Whether it was satanic or not, it was definitely bad judgment. Also, did basketball ratings at the Olympics prove that America just isn't interested in the NBA product. Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com, and I'll see you guys later.